Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to another episode of The Motherland Experience. It's your girl Naya here and today we're going to be traveling from the UK and Jamaica. I'm going to be interviewing a very lovely couple, Negus and Savannah, and they're going to be explaining their spectacular visit to Ghana, them acquiring land here, among other things as well. So sit back, relax, and don't go anywhere. Hey guys, I am so excited about this interview. You wanna know why? Because this is my first people that I have interviewed that are from the UK. So I'm really excited about this. So guys, please help me welcome Negus and Savannah to the show. <laughs> Hi. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, how are you guys? Good, good, thank you. Oh, good, you guys good. look beautiful. I'm thank loving you. the t-shirts. Where'd thank you get you. them? We got them from in, in Ghana, yeah, in Makala, in Makala yeah. yeah. Market. Yeah. Market. I have yeah. to say that's the spot. Yeah. Everybody goes to Makala okay. Market yeah, to like yeah. get some goods, yeah. you know. So, like I said, I'm so excited to be interviewing you guys. Because Thank you're you from for having us. England, Thank you. and it's kind of giving more of a perspective and a broad perspective of yeah, yeah. people from the diaspora coming here. So, please, can you tell us, our lovely viewers, where you're from? Uh, from the UK, of course, yeah. but where from the UK? Uh, from Birmingham. Birmingham. Yes. Mm, yeah, yeah. From Birmingham. Birmingham, okay. Birmingham in the house. <laughs> so, um, so how long have you been in Ghana? Um, two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Wow. So you guys are babies. Yeah. I have to say, you guys are babies. When you, when you You're it, newbies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've done a lot though. We've done the whole of Accra. So okay. Yeah, we okay. have. We've done north, east, west. And obviously, so. Mm. So, yeah, we've experienced a lot these two weeks. Wow, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. So, you guys just like visiting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just visiting this time. Just to see what the place is like, like and yeah. whatnot. Okay, okay. So, I have to get it out. <laughs> so, first impressions of Ghana. What was like the first thing that hit you about Ghana? Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when we first, if you want me to be real, when we first mm -hmm. come out of the airport, it was like, it was a lot, but then. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much nice people in Ghana, yeah. so it was like, it was warm, obviously, to step off the plane, and it's mm -hmm. like, the heat hits you. And right. <laughs> the first night was a lot of drama, but when we woke up a new morning, it was like, yeah, Ghana, no regrets. It was definitely an experience, so yeah. Oh, wow. So no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. You have to come to Ghana. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See that, guys? You have to you come have to, Ghana. to come to Ghana. So what was maybe like your your impressions when before you got here? Were there any preconceived notions or did you have mm. any expectations? What was it? Obviously the weather. We thought the weather would be mm -hmm. nice, which is... Mm -hmm. um, the people are nice, but obviously when you when you when you watch videos and whatnot, you you see people on the videos, and mm -hmm. it just looks nice. So you just want to come and have your own mm -hmm. like interpretation of it. So now coming here, we've seen it, and it's exactly the same yeah. when you watch it on YouTube or whatnot. Oh wow, that's actually yeah. interesting you would say that because some people say that YouTube kind of like deceives them. Yeah. So what I would you say about that? I feel like from the UK as a kid. Mm -hmm. You know, like Africa, we, we've been shown something different. Mm -hmm. So it's like coming to Ghana, we've been shown, you know, the kids with the big bellies, the flies, you know, don't go to Africa. That's what the media is. Yeah, back in the day, that's how they made it out <clears> to us. Like, showed us. In the Western world, they'll make it like Africa, yeah, this, that, and your sponsor kid or whatnot. Yeah. But growing up, seeing it, it's exactly how it's perceived mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that sense. But like then coming here, it's mm -hmm. completely. Different. Obviously, there's a, there's a you know, a ghetto and a, a rich place in every part of the world. Right. But yeah, well, Ghana is beautiful. It's beautiful. So it is. it is definitely beautiful. Yeah. Oh <laughs> well, I can tell you guys have like a twinkle in your eye when you talk about Ghana <laughs> and you know what you're saying about the, that preconceived notion yeah. before coming here. You know, it's like or what we've been told in the media coming definitely. from the West. Yeah. Oh, and it's like it's not that way at all. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not that way at all. So with your family and friends, were they supportive of you guys coming here to visit and check it out? Yeah, well, some knew, some didn't. Yeah, we kind of really, made it like yeah. a, you know, a quiet one. And then when yeah. we got here, it's yeah. that when we were going there. Yeah, so. We just came, really. It was just mm, one of them, one of them, just like, let's just go. 
kind of thing. Mm. But yeah. now we're here and everyone's seen how Ghana is. Everyone's like, next time you go Ghana, I'm coming Ghana. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <Aww. laughs> yeah. you guys are like a like an advertisement. Yeah. Yeah. Ghana, you're like, you're like the Ghana with Ghana. I mean, look at your shirts. You're marketing Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So have you been to any other African country? Yeah, we've been to you know the, Egypt. Um, North Egypt, Morocco. Oh. Yeah. Is that the uh, only? Yeah, that's that's the only two yeah. African ones we've been to so far, but that's it's a bit different the from the West. Yeah. West yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the same. Wow. So, what was your experience in Egypt? Because I've been to Egypt. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was different than how how I thought it mm -hmm. was. So, how how was your perception of Egypt? Egypt's nice, the weather and whatnot, but it's still it's Africa, but mm. whereas the West Africa is more your own people. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a bit different, that's I would say. That's what that's mm. the vibe I get. I come to Ghana, you know, because we're Jamaican, so we've got the same food, the planting. Oh, okay. But going to Egypt, it's different. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Ghana is just it's like being in Jamaica. Yeah, there's to a, be lot fair. Of there's a lot of similarities. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, yeah. I've heard that a lot because I've met so many people from um the uk mm -hmm. that have a jamaican background, background and yeah. they're saying that jamaica's a lot like ghana yeah, 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 yeah. the it climate is. the food the food. just the whole vibe it, look, it looks the same it looks exactly the it same. does look very similar yeah wow that's so interesting <laughs> so i would have to say you know why ghana why are you here what started your journey coming to ghana it was more just you know what it was one of them ones where it just kind of happened really because mm. last year we went away and we went to Mexico and while we was away in Mexico we went to a place called Tulum and while we were staying there we was like next next door to the place where we was was someone was building mm. and then we was like we, we both went next door and we were speaking to the guy that was building mm -hmm. and we was like yeah this is nice like we could do something like this and then we was thinking maybe not in Mexico though it's quite far it's yeah. probably not the right. best place for us so when we got back to the UK, we started looking around and we was thinking, where could we like, where could we do something like this? Mm -hmm. We kept looking around, looking around, came across Ghana. And then it was like, this is, this is, this looks like a good place for us <laughs> to be like mm -hmm. same sort of people, um, the motherland. Definitely. Right. And then it was like, <laughs> we came across Royal Kingdom and then we seen Danny and he was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can see his, you can see his personality yeah. through the, lens exactly. <laughs> so it was like exactly you could see it was Aww. perfect so Aww, that's how we ended up in yeah Ghana. it was crazy because mm. we don't know this drastically so yeah. mm. it was mad there was no preparation like because we did look at jamaica we looked at loads of places but we just felt mm, you know because we're jamaican and we've asked advice people like yeah. jamaica's a bit dangerous and you know this weekend, where could we build? We looked at the Europe, we thought, nah, it's not our own people. Right. So, yeah, we come across Ghana, done our own little research, and yeah. That's <laughs> all she wrote, no? That's, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. This is history, and then, yeah. you know, we bought the first lot of land. We went to the park, measured it. Yeah. We thought, Danny, like, no, it's not enough. Next day, and the rest. Yeah, we was headache for Danny. Headache. Like, <laughs> it's the rest. Yeah, we want, we want to get one, we want to get one plot of land. Then we went to the park with measuring. <laughs> wow. And it was like, yeah, it was raining as well. And we was like, nah, this ain't going to be big enough, you know. <laughs> and then we, we, we pulled it back and we're like, you know what, we think we're going to need another one. I think like a few days later, yeah, we ended up getting another one. So it was like, yeah. <laughs> wow. So I can tell that even Royal Kingdom Estates even helped with your journey here. A lot, 100%. Yeah, a lot. 100%. Um, I, wow, that's amazing. So with you hit on something and talking about the motherland and mm -hmm. seeing your own people. How have you coming here, you've been able to connect to your own people more? Here Just in the motherland. Seeing how people live, seeing, meeting the people. The people are really nice as well. Yeah, also. Are really nice. So what and would you say? We've gone to like, um, Cape Coast Castle, you know. Yeah, and that's that, wow. that one. History. How was that experience for you guys? It's overwhelming. Definitely. The food as well, I would say. The food, the similarities to Jamaica is one thing. And then trying different foods as well, it's, but it's like, it's it's like seeing, when you see it, and then to come and try it, it's like, yeah, yeah it's, it's nice, you get me? <laughs> it's but, different, it's nice though. 
Wow, wow. Well, I can tell, like I said, you are having a good time. You're excited. You got a lot of time. You know, right? I'm activating. Oh, melanin popping, guys. <laughs> <It's your thing. laughs> so, you guys have been doing a little bit of traveling, am I correct? Yeah. Around Ghana? Yeah, we've so, been all around Ghana. Oh, wow. So, what have been some of your favorite spots? <laughs> um, Obviously, Abri. Mm -hmm. And then we went to Adar. Where else have we been? We went I don't to know the places. The, the, Every botanical gardens, mm. we went to a dam waterfalls, a dar, she says. Yeah, we've been to Cape Coast, Elmina, Jamestown. Mm. We even stopped at a, a castle on the way, Port Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow! Yeah. Oh, my god, yeah, we had a long bucket list and yeah. everything's tick, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. tick, 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 everything just been ticked out. The time we've been here is like. The, the things we've done in that short space of time is that we've been here for a long, long time. time. Wow. So what has been like your, I don't know if you guys have a favorite, but like a highlight of your time here in Ghana? Um, I would say it has to be seeing our land. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be, yeah. It has to be, that would be mine, I would mm -hmm. say. Same, I agree. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's, a, that's the one. Cause you, <laughs> when you, for us, because it was our first time here, mm -hmm. buying land, without seeing it mm -hmm. risky it's, it's, it can be risky yeah. so yeah. to come and see what you've been manifested in a way yeah. like you've been to see it in person is it's a different kind of mm -hmm. energy you get me? yeah i'm sure i'm sure because <laughs> i've been wondering this about you guys you guys mm -hmm. just yeah. came and it's almost like you bought the land blindly, blindly. so yeah. what mm -hmm. was it about royal kingdom estates that made you so trusting of the company oh I don't know, it was just, you know, we've done a lot of business other places and mm -hmm. like there was no forcing, like if you, you know, buy it, buy it. It was just, we just felt comfortable. Yeah, so. it, was, yeah. It, was, it was comfortable to do because it was like, it's everything. So like when you're trying to do business and whatnot or mm -hmm. trying to do, make certain investments, it mm -hmm. can be a risk all the time. Definitely. But seeing Danny and Desmond, Desmond. Mm -hmm. like you can see their personality through the lens and it's like, professional. these guys are properly yes. professional. When you speak to them, they're professional, courteous, and it's like we've done lots of business before. And mm. it, when someone is trying to, when someone is trying to get like get, into, get into mm. your pockets or whatnot, yeah. they'll constantly be like. So, for example, they'll be like calling you all the time yeah. and just checking what's going on. Like mm. these guys, they'll tell you the information then you need and leave you with it. You it's up to you that in that sense, or so that made me know. Regardless, the land's gonna go. <laughs> right, <laughs> so exactly. They, 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 they wasn't goes. running us down to try <laughs> to try and get. It's just they give us what we need to know, and then it's our, we can do what we want with that information, and that's mm -hmm. what helps as well. Also, wow. Well, you know, you talking about that, it's important to have, especially with land acquisition here, for mm -hmm. people from the diaspora such as ourselves. You know, having a trusted company that's by your side mm -hmm. that will help with yeah. it and assist, and it's all legit. It's you know, mm -hmm. litigation free. Yeah. You know, how was your paperwork? Yeah. Did you guys get your it paperwork? Yeah, easy. easy. Get made it easy for us. Mm -hmm. everything. So it's like, it, it's yeah, we feel comfortable. Definitely. Yeah, um, everything was made smooth. The journey was smooth. Smooth. Mm -hmm. Smooth. Anything we need, any help we need. It's literally one phone well, call. Even away from the land. Away, yeah, and away it's from like, the land. It'll just get done. It's like family, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it is like that at you know, Royal Kingdom Estates. Mm -hmm. It's like it protects the landowner. Yeah. And it's kind of like with some companies, you're just kind of left there and just go yeah. on your own. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like they just kind of leave you on definitely. your own. Definitely. But yeah. with Royal Kingdom Estates, it's almost like a safety net. Yeah, definitely. You know, and they look out for, <laughs> yeah. for the buyer. Mm -hmm. So, where did you guys purchase land, I may add? Which place? <laughs> Gracie. Gracie. Yeah. Phase two. <laughs> mm, great city phase two. Yeah. So when you guys stepped on the land, what was like the first feeling that you got? <laughs> to put it into one word, you trying to say no, well put it into words, I'm trying to think <laughs> yeah. now. What would you say? For me it just felt like it, if I had one word I'll just be like wow, like Ooh. I was the view is just crazy. Yeah. When you, you stand on the land and you look and you can see the mountains and yes, mm -hmm. the weather's it's different. Like for example, here in Accra, it's a bit more hot. There, it's cool. cool. Yes. The breeze is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just 
Breathtaking. Oh, breathtaking. About to put it into one. That's my word. Yeah, breathtaking. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it is breathtaking views. Mm. I don't. When I remember when I saw Grace City the first time, mm. it just really took my breath away. What it looked like mm -hmm. in terms of like the rolling hills, you know, and just it gave me like a zen type mm. of feeling mm. where it's like I could really see myself. Here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it sounds like for you guys. the you guys felt the same way, like waking up every morning to that. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> One day, hopefully, yeah. when we get it all done, we will be here. Uh, <laughs> so how do you see Grace City fitting into the lives, you know, you guys as a couple and possible future, future, you know, little ones, yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, your yeah. family? Yeah, it'll be in our family. Now that we've got land, it's ours forever now, uh, yeah. as long as we want it, so we'll keep it. And then it can go, get passed down and whatnot, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Land is not gonna land. They can't create more land. Yeah, <laughs> so. they can't. that's true. <laughs> Land's like gold, isn't it? Yeah. I know, so. right? It's like it's something. It's like land is not anything that God is making no, no more, more of. No so more. it's like you want to get value, it. So. Exactly, it appreciates over yeah, yeah, yeah. over time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know that's that's the important thing. And you know what I admire about you guys is that you know you're young people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And there's not like a lot of young people yeah, here. In God. I mean, it's starting to change. Mm. It is starting to change. Mm. You know, because a few years back there wasn't as many young people from the diaspora that are coming. Thing, but I'm just noticing yeah. more and more, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so kind of with you guys being here, young people, how about like the culture and the vibe? How do you guys see yourself really oh, wow. coming into that as young um, people? It's all, it's, it's good. It's, I think now that we've, we've done it, other people probably it's see so the same thing, mm -hmm. be more comfortable to come along. So mm -hmm. it's, it's fine. A lot of people our age would love to come to Ghana as well because there's quite a lot to do here. Yeah. Oh, you get yeah. I mean? There's a lot of amenities here. So yeah, I would say it's a mm. great thing being this age and doing it rather than waiting okay, oh. to a bit older. It's, right. Yeah, because yeah, Danny did, as he says, most of the time, you're one of the youngest yeah. landowners on Grey City. Yeah. And he said like the the age is normally something like 50 odd. Yeah, for Grey City. Yeah, yeah. About 50 kind of like middle age, and, yeah. And when we what, were at 25. Like 25, yeah. Wow. Wow. You guys are like younger than me. Yeah. Yeah. 25. <laughs> 25. Oh, wow. Buying land, you would have thought. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, see, that shows that young people who are from the West mm -hmm. coming yeah, yeah, here, yeah. that we do have a place here. I think mm. that some young people are like from the West saying, oh, you when know, there's tired. nothing out there. Yeah, it's like, yeah. there's nothing out there for me. All they see is just it being in the West, whether mm -hmm. it be in England, America, mm -hmm. Canada, but especially for us as black melanated people, mm -hmm. you know, we do have a stake here on mm -hmm. the continent mm -hmm. and coming yeah. back home. And I would say you guys are the epitome of that. Yeah, definitely. You really yeah. are. You guys are the epitome of that. Mm -hmm. So I have to say, since you guys are the first people from England, I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked another brother that I interviewed. What do you guys feel that Ghana has to offer you that England can't? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the West is just, <laughs> it's one of the ones where it's, it's bills, you work, mm -hmm. come home and it's just bills, it's more mm -hmm. like a rat race. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's not our country, we're just there in that sense. Exactly. I feel like a lot of our parents, that a lot of the people in the diaspora, our parents came there for an opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing I would say about the West is opportunity, opportunity based. Mm -hmm. but if you got the chance to get your opportunity and leave, I would say it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's so true. You know, <laughs> yeah, being from the West, it's like it's just like it's a rat race. Mm -hmm. It's a rat yeah. race, and I feel here you can just come, be yourself, be around your own yeah. people. You can have some fun. Mm -hmm. You know thing. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just have fun anytime you like it. So, what's your favorite Ghanaian dish? Both of you. Mine, they're lost for words. Mine is it's um buff buffalo buffalo. You know the little buffalo? dumpling. Buffalo. I got a little, it's I like a little dumpling. It's like a little mm. dumpling. dumpling. That's mine. Or mine look a bit for egg and you know, egg and bread. Mm -hmm, egg and bread. But if I have to go for dinner option, surprisingly, it's fufu. I didn't think I would like it because yeah, the fufu. Mm. You know, look the look of it. I was thinking, mmm. <laughs> like no, Jamaican food is like colorful and we eat mm. so much. I was thinking, mmm, but. The fufu was definitely. The fufu was shocking. Oh, yeah. It's shocking. It's nice. It's nice. So I didn't think it would be that nice, to be mm. honest. When, mm. when you see it, it's like, nah, it's not gonna be that nice. <laughs> and we tried it. It was like, this is nice. The fufu, <laughs> we had fufu with light soup and goat meat. So yeah. It was like, yeah. Okay. 
what well, I'll say watch is I'm watching as well. Oh, yeah, watch yeah, yeah. it. Put it in. Watch it. Watch it. Mm. Yeah. Watch it has my heart, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we had watch it. And we went, we said, let's have a little half an hour yeah. now. We didn't wake up until three o'clock in the morning. I think that's the only thing we got. I don't it's know how heavy. you guys have for breakfast. <laughs> what you guys have for breakfast here is like mm. our Sunday it's dinner in the West. So it's like, right. It's crazy. After that, you have it. It's slow. You feel like you want to sleep? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's really, it's kind of it's more heavy, it's heavy, you know, yeah. a little bit more starch based. Yeah. So it's like when you have it, you just pass out. Yeah. And just like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, nice. it's nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Well, I have to say, watch it. Yes, <laughs> yes definitely. Nice. <laughs> and poop and poop is pretty nice too. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you guys one final question. Yeah. If um, one thing that you would like to say to your brothers and sisters in the West of the UK about, about Ghana, what would it be? Just come and see it for yourself you with your own two eyes. You have to see it. You have to see it. Yeah. It's Africa, like, mm. it's where we're from, so, yeah. You have yeah. to see it. It's just better than someone telling you the version of the, what they see. Like, mm. for example, someone can't tell you and show you on TV, this is their version. You have you to have just come to and see here. it and see it for yourself. You have your own be, opinion. Yeah. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Oh my gosh, I feel, yeah, I feel so comfortable with you guys. I really do. And, and this interview can go like forever, right, right, right. forever in a day. Yeah, right. But I really appreciate you thank guys you, for you. coming thank on, sharing your story, and yeah. just being so authentic. Mm -hmm. And you know, and I'm looking forward to you guys it's coming back again. here. Yeah. And coming back, we'll back here to back. stay. Okay, <laughs> that one day you will be. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. But yeah, man, Ghana's nice, you know, because mm -hmm. the UK's a lot of crime going on and the youth's out of control. So it's nice to see, like, black yeah. people getting along. Do you know right. what I mean? It's nice, man. Yeah, it's good for a change. It yeah. really is. It's good it's for nice. a change. So, like I said, thank you guys so much for thank being you. on the channel. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And thank you guys for tuning in. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this information with others. And please, Definitely. we like this lovely couple here. <laughs> Definitely. Come buy land it. and wait. And don't wait to buy land. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Yeah.